Hey, what's poppin' everybody? Another solid day yesterday. We did pull together a winning slip. Uh, let's go ahead and recap it. So yesterday is two picks that I gave in the video. I did end up doing a, a two slip with those two picks. So I'll throw it right here. Um, I put 1.5 units. I don't normally do that on a uh, on a two pick. I put I put more units down on the, on the two pick than I would on a, on a regular pick because I really liked these two earlier in the day. Um, so the two picks from that video were Monte Morris, lock of the day under 8.5 rebound and assist. Um, got to the halfway point and then did not um, do much better after that. Did, did Monte Morris. I think he sat almost the entire fourth quarter, if I'm actually not mistaken. His backup, though, um, can't remember his name. His last name was like Godwin or something like that. Had like seven boards and six assists. He went crazy. He did exactly what Monte Morris... We needed Monte Morris not to do. He did well off the bench. Um, and then CJ McCollum over five assists. Hit this in the first half, actually. Finished with seven, but he did hit it in the first half. Worst did CJ McCollum, so no sweat there on the two picks that we had yesterday. Um, and then the added play, I will add it to the record because I did add it and I did put money on a slip on it. Uh, ended up being Josh Hart over 12.0 rebounds and assists. Um, just a lot of really good... Sorry, guys. My cat. Um, just a lot of really good distribution, honestly, from the Trailblazers. Everybody scored well, everybody rebounded well, and everybody assisted well. You could you could kind of argue that Justice Winslow took a lot of rebounds and assists from him. I think Justice Winslow finished with 12 rebounds and assists. I think he had six boards and six assists because um, Josh Hart only ended up getting uh, two assists. He had five rebounds in the first quarter and then grabbed one the rest of the game. So it is what it is with Josh Hart there. If you guys remember, I'm even going to throw the clip up because I don't want you guys to think I'm capping or something. I wanted Jeremy Grant all day yesterday. I wanted him so bad. And then I couldn't, like I kept checking underdog, kept checking. I couldn't get a line for him. So I ended up just going with Josh Hart because there was a Josh Hart line. Um, I wanted him so bad. He ended up having like 27 or something like that last night. I know his line wouldn't have been more than like 20. I'm um, so mad about it. I really wanted that Josh Hart line. I'll throw it up here. Jeremy Grant, uh, I was interested in him. He doesn't have a line at the moment. Here. So I, I just, I wanted that one so bad. I knew that one was going to hit. Um, same reason I took DeMar DeRozan the, the night before versus the Pelicans. Um, but with that being said, guys, we are still on a 12-1 and one run, looking really, really good. Um, so let's get into it today. Let's get this picks down. Also, real quick, you guys have done it. We have hit 3,000 subscribers on this channel, uh, which is pretty wild. Um, you know, everyone's always going to talk about the journey or whatever, you know. Um, I don't do this at all for the views. I don't do it for the clout. I don't do it for the you know quote unquote fame. Um, I just try to help people out, try to help people win money. Um, and we've slowly grown way bigger than I ever anticipated. Um, so we're gonna try to do a giveaway. Okay, we're gonna try to do this. Um, I've tried to do a giveaway a couple different times and I've had no interest. Um, so what I wanna do is try to give a jersey, uh, you know, NBA, NHL, MLB, NFL, whatever, soccer, even if you guys need like soccer, soccer people out there. If you guys want a jersey, want a chance at a free jersey, all you gotta do is just comment down on this video, okay? It's all you gotta do is just comment. You don't have to comment, uh, you know, giveaway or something. You don't have to follow me. Like you could, don't even have to be subscribed. Just comment down to the down to the video below. Um, and then I'll throw the comments into like a random, you know, comment selector. And whoever wins that, um, I'll, I'll record it and I'll film it live and everything. So whoever wins that, will go ahead and win the, the free jersey and then I'll contact you, try to get a way to get a hold of you and we will give away the jersey that way. Um, in the future, I want to try to do, like, I give away, like, two game tickets to, like, a game to, like, the closest team you live to, and I give away game tickets to an NBA game or something like that in the future, but let's see how much interest I even get for a free jersey. If I get no interest again, then I don't know what I'm supposed to do with giveaways. I mean, it looks like nobody wants to do them, but um, with that being said, if you guys go ahead and just comment on this video today, today, comment down this video down below. Um, I'll maybe leave it open for a day, maybe two days, and then however many people comment, we'll, again, like I said, throw it to a generator thing, and... Whoever wins that will get a free jersey. Uh, but thank you guys so much for 3K. I guess, you know, journey uh, to 4K next. Um, so, yeah, I guess with that being said, I will go ahead and get today's picks. Let's get it. Real quick, if you guys are new to Underdog Fantasy, in the link down in the description below, I have a uh, link that takes you straight to the App Store where you can download Underdog Fantasy because you're going to want to hop in on the action this year. They have added a whole bunch of new features to Underdog Fantasy this year. Um, starting with the brand new insurance feature, okay? This insurance feature is a new thing that has been uh, super requested uh, for, for the fans and the customers of Underdog Fantasy. Essentially, all you do is you click insurance right here. And all you, if you can see right there, all you have to do is hit for these picks to win, but the value does drop down. So if you turn off the insurance, you do a $10 bet, you obviously get $200. And if you turn on the insurance feature, it drops down uh, a multiplier down to 10. But if you miss one of these picks, say, you know, Jameis Winston gets hurt or something, he doesn't end up throwing two touchdown passes. But everybody hits, everybody else hits, like Lamar, Jonathan Taylor, uh, Derrick Henry, and Justin Jefferson, all these guys hit, you still hit the hit, or you still hit the slip, you just get it for $100, just goes down a multiplier, which is a huge feature a lot of people have been asking for, so they received it. Also, they have added second half lines now to games. Obviously, it is on, 
there's nothing up because there's no NFL second half games, but they have added NFL second half. Um, so just like for the Thursday night game, I'll throw up that clip right here. Thursday night, they dropped all the second half lines for that Thursday night game between the Bills and the Rams. They've added a bunch of new features this year. They're trying to improve to get uh, the app better for you guys. Um, also, if, when you sign up, if you use code take my shot, you'll get $100 match, uh, up to $100 match and 100% deposit match uh, on your first time deposit. So if you do that, you can deposit $50 to get another, an extra $50, you know, $20 to get an extra $20. Um, whole lot of stuff coming in with Underdog Fantasy this year. Make sure you sign up with code take my shot. Now let's get to today's bet. All right, coming in hot with today's lock of the day. Let's go ahead and get it. Uh, I'm just going to say it right now. Everybody's probably going to play this prop today because you absolutely should. Um, if somebody, if multiple people on the platform are playing the same prop, it's not people copying one another. It's probably telling you that you should probably bet this prop because it's absolutely going to smack. Say with like Halliburton, right? Everyone across every platform is like, bet on Halliburton. Everyone's like, bet on Shea Gilders Alexander. Those guys are slapping their lines. I mean, you just got to go with it. So, um... I didn't want to make him the lock of the day because I know other people are probably going to make him his lock of the day as well. But it's absolutely, I mean, it's the best one of the day. It's the best prop of the day. Give me Jared Allen today. Over 25.5 points and rebounds. I'm going to personally go with points and rebounds today. Um, on the year, um, we've talked about in the past, right? We've taken Bam um, to this point in the season a couple times. We took um, DeMontis Sabonis the other day versus the Warriors. Um, that's who he's taking on today. Is that the Warriors? He's taking on the Warriors today. Um, the average... Bigs, the average starting center versus the Golden State Warriors this year, averaging 26 on the year. Um, if you're averaging 26, on, or excuse me, Jared Allen is averaging 26 on the year. 26 re rebounds and points is averaging 14 points and 12 rebounds. I talk about this all the time. If a guy's average is right in his line and he's a great matchup today, he's going to go over his average. If a guy has, and vice versa, if a guy has a great, or if his line is right at his average and he has a bad matchup, he's probably going to go well under his average. Um, and that's what Jared Allen's sitting at today. His line is at 26. And he averages 26 on the year, taking on a great matchup. Jared Allen on the season has hit this five straight games, and he's hit it eight out of 11. The three teams he didn't hit against were Chicago, Toronto, and New York. Great interior teams. Um, New York, obviously, with Mitchell Robinson, Isaiah Hartenstein. Great interior presence. Toronto, the best interior defending team in the NBA. And uh, the New York er, and the Chicago uh, Bulls, who Vucevic is a pretty good interior defender. Um, so arguably, you know, makes sense why he didn't hit against those kind of teams. Um, this season yet though, Jared Allen has not played a top 10 team, um, defensively, or I guess n not defensively versus the, versus centers this season. He's actually had some pretty hard, uh, center matchups this season and he's still put up great numbers. So it's, I'm feeling really good that he's going to hit, uh, have a huge night tonight versus a team that does give up a lot of numbers to centers. Um, and centers in that time are eight out of 11 centers, excuse me. So that's for Jared Allen side of it. As far as how other centers have fared versus the Golden State Warriors, um, eight out of 11 have also hit versus the Warriors. Um, and they're hitting for a 29 average points versus rebounds. They have taken on a lot of elite centers. They have taken on guys like Sabonis, Bam Adebayo, uh, Nikola Jokic. It was worth noting the guys that did it hit versus the Warriors. Um, I'm going to double check and tell you guys real quick because there's reasons for it. Um, they played Mason Plumley, who got to 15, but he only played 23 minutes in that game. Um, so kind of just didn't really get, have enough time, honestly, out there to get his line. Uh, they played Wendell Carter, who only got to 23. It just didn't hit straight up. Like, he just didn't get there. Um, and then they had they took on Jonas Valanciunas, who had 14 and 19 minutes. And then, I guess, got, must have got hurt or something because he didn't play. wasn't in foul trouble. Because Larry Nance Jr. came in and had 28 in just 29 minutes. So, clearly, he came in the game and finished the game out for Jonas. And he feasted. Um, so, even the guys that are coming in off the bench and coming in playing well versus the, the Warriors are putting up great stats. So, those are the three guys that didn't hit versus them this year. Um, this game is also sitting at a bucket spread, uh, two, and a, two and a half, so a three-pointer in that spread, at a 231 total. So that means a lot of points, a lot of shots taken, a lot of missed shots, so a lot of opportunities for rebounds for Jared Allen. Also, Darius Garland will be playing today, and Jared Allen and Darius Garland are a fantastic duo. Um, I know I've rambled about this one for a super long time, but just wanted to get all the numbers out there to you guys. So Jared Allen, over 25.5 points and rebounds is today's lock of the day. Okay, our second play of the day is going to be coming from the Knicks. Pistons game. We're going to go ahead and rock with Jalen Brunson over 19.5 points. Now, in his two matchups last year versus the Detroit Pistons as a member of the Dallas Mavericks, he had 24 points and 21 points in his two matchups last year. So we did hit the total, um, his line in both last year's games. How he's fared this year, he has hit over this 19.5 line six out of 11 games. He's averaging 19.2 points per game on the season, which tells you everything you need to know. His line is sitting at 19.5 and he averages 19 points. Like I just said with Jared Allen, if a guy's average is right at his line and he's taking on a great matchup, 
He's going to go over his average, and that's what he's going to do today in this matchup versus the Pistons. We've already talked about it in the past as well. Pistons are the worst uh, defense in the NBA at allowing scoring uh, points to be scored by point guards. Uh, and, if, and you see that last year. Last year, I went ahead and looked at, at how these two teams uh, fared against each other last year because um, if I'm not mistaken, let me double check to just make sure I'm not wrong here. Yeah, this game is sitting at an eight and a half point spread. I think that's a little bit too big of a spread if you're being honest, if I'm being honest. Um, but the reason for that is probably because this game is in New York. So that does fare, uh, you know, obviously gives a little bit more points for the uh, Knicks as far as the spread go. But I was looking at their three matchups last year. Only one game got out of hand. Only their uh, their December 21st matchup game. Uh, so their first matchup of the year got out of hand last year. It was a 14-point game. So that one just got a little bit out of, you know, got into blow-up uh, territory. But in all three of those games, regardless of what the final score ended up being, again, my other cats are, we get whatever those scores ended up being, all the guards for the New York Knicks feasted in their first matchup of the year. Alec Burks and Emmanuel quickly combined it for 36 points, 18 and 18 apiece. Um, in the second game, Kemba Walker was technically the starter. He only played 20 minutes, and off the bench, Emmanuel quickly played way more minutes than him, so I'll, I'll, I'll take him as the points there. Uh, Emmanuel quickly had 18, and then off the bench, Alec Burks had 34. And then in their last matchup of the year, Kemba Walker had 21 points, and in that game, he actually started and played starter minutes. So the guards feasted. The guards played really well last year versus the New York or versus the Detroit Pistons, and this Pistons roster, outside of the two rookies, Duran and Ivy, and the addition of Bogdanovich, is almost an exact copy-paste, and that's, it's been the story this year, obviously, um, a lot of guards have had success this year versus the New York Knicks, so, or versus the Detroit Pistons, so we're going to take Jalen Brunson tonight to have a big night to, to hit that 20-point mark tonight versus the, the Pistons, so give me Jalen Brunson over 19.5 points to our second play. All right, our last play of the day here, uh, we're going to end up taking a play from the Milwaukee-San Antonio Spurs game at 7-10. Uh, give me Javon Carter today, over 20.5 points and assists. Um, absolutely balled out career night. Absolutely balled out of his mind last game versus the um, OKC Thunder. 36-12 and 12 in that game where he had 48 points and assists. Probably won't have a showing like that again. Um, you know, if he does, absolutely fantastic. We'll love it. We'll take it. Um, but tonight's going to be taking on the San Antonio Spurs. Uh, San Antonio Spurs are actually just outside of the top 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I said they're ninth. They said ninth at allowing the most points to start or to point guards in the NBA. And they also allow the third most assists at 9.73, so nearly 10 assists a game. Do they give up to um, point guards uh, to the San Antonio Spurs? The thing I'm loving the most in this game is even without Giannis and without um, Drew Holiday in this game, on the road for the Bucks, they got this game at a one and a half point spread, just a 219 total. But I got it at a one and a half point spread. So this game should stay close. Javon Carter showed in his, you know, first real game with him having the reins of the offense that he's very capable of doing that. I'm a Bucks fan. I didn't even not even know Javon Carter was built like that because um, he kind of obviously with Giannis and Drew Holiday in the lineup is just a spot up guy in the corner. He kind of misses a lot, but when the ball is his, it balls in his hands and he gets to run that thing, he balled out of his mind. So tonight he'll take on the San Antonio Spurs without Dejounte Murray now. Um, lack real elite perimeter defense. So expect Javon Carter to have a big night tonight. Also, guys like Bobby Portis uh, and Brooke Lopez are great guys for him to drive um, and dump to, whether it's Brooke Lopez or um, those guys can also kick out too. They can pick and pop with the Bobby Portis and with um, Brooke Lopez. Those guys are both very capable shooters. Grayson Allen out in the wing. He's got a lot of options as far as getting assists too, and he's He's shown that he's very, uh, uh, very able of scoring the basketball. So should be a close one tonight between these two teams with uh, with some injuries to the Bucks and Javon Carter balled out last time. So we're going to take Javon Carter over 20.5 points and assist as our third play of the day today. All right, boys. So with that being said, the perfect three of today um, will be the lock of the day. Jared Allen over 25.5 points and rebounds. Then give me Jalen Brunson over 19.5 points and Javon Carter over 20.5 points and assist for our perfect three of today. I'm actually, since we've been doing really well, I'm actually going to go to a 1.5 unit play today. Um, I'll show that right here. So we've been doing really well. So I'm going to, you know, update any a little bit here. Um, so with that being said, that's going to be our perfect three slip for today, guys. All right. So that's going to wrap up today's video here today, guys. Um, or, sure, or I was going to say make sure and remember I combined it at the same time there. Um, remember, put a comment down below and you guys will have a shot at that jersey win or at the at that free jersey. Um, all you got to do is just comment down below. You don't got to follow. You don't got to like. You don't got to do all that kind of jazz here. Um, that's not what I'm about here. I just try to give you guys winning plays, um, but I, I do want to kind of pay out to you guys a little bit there. Um, so with that being said, that will wrap today's video. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.